new office, it starts to take shape, but uh, it also comes with responsibility. Lots of lights, lighting candles, bit of music. See how long that lasts. Right, yeah, good morning. Our, uh, our office refurb is coming along nice. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm a kind of, uh, I'm all in. So uh, when, when something new is happening, so right now we're switching on lights, we're lighting candles, we're playing a bit of music, we're creating the right kind of atmosphere to work in. And we'll see how long that lasts for. It soon wears off. And that's a bit like buying a golf club. When I see, try a new golf club, I'm all in. This is gonna solve all my problems. And we all know that's uh, not reality. And it's the same with the club that we're gonna look at today. I haven't even unboxed it yet, but I've seen visuals and it just fits everything I like about a golf club. I'm all in right now and I haven't even tried it and I probably can't even use it. We shall see, testing is coming up very soon. Coffee first. So what's the club in question? Well, it's a driving iron. And the thing, this club really appeals to me basically on the way it looks and the way it looks. That's it. I just love the look of these clubs. The question is, I know realistically it's above my capabilities in terms of, we'll put it this way, using a hybrid is a far easier option but I'm still drawn to this club. I still want it in the bag. So the question is this, the new Callaway UT driving iron has got to do one thing. There's a little bit of tungsten placed in the back of this club. It's a slightly bigger profile, slightly wider sole, and that bit of tungsten that's packed in the back of it. And the question is, can that bit of tungsten give me enough forgiveness, enough ball speed to allow me to put this in the bag instead of what I should be using? which is a hybrid. Get some balls and find out, I think. Would you buy a utility iron or a hybrid? Which one? Comment below, hybrid or utility iron? You can just put UTI in if you want. So a few balls in, and uh, the question is, why do I like this club and why does it appeal to me? Well, like I said, looks is the big thing, but it is a bit more than that. I like the ball flight of a driving iron, and I love the appeal of hitting uh, what I call a driving iron, a utility iron, as this is called. I like playing a long iron off the tee, so again, the substitutes are, I mentioned a hybrid, I also do play my three iron quite a lot off the tee as well. Especially playing Lynx golf, I love that sort of low penetrating ball fight, trying to get one chasing down the middle, is just, there's nothing better than that. And I think the fact that this is forged, it's also an interesting bit. But what I will say first of all on that point, having it a few balls, the forged element for me, it's that hollow body again. And no matter what anybody says, and we've seen it in a number of clubs now that are forged, but a hollow body forged, that is nowhere near the same as being a pure forged club. And that feel is not the same. That's something that I can confirm. Okay, so a few days ago, I did a video on the B21 4 hybrid, and that had 21 degrees aloft. Right, a few days ago, I did a video on the 4 hybrid, the B21 Big Bertha, 87 club head speed, ball speeds are 130, carrying 192. This is interesting. Today, with the 18 degree utility iron, wait for it, because I'm surprised at this, with an 85 mile an hour club head speed, 
a 201 carry on average over quite a lot of golf shots that I hit. What have we got? Nine shots there. Average ball speed, 133. Let me put that data in front of you now. So club head speed, averaging 85, spinning 28, 201 carry, launching 10.1, 133 ball speed. 228 overall distance or suggested we'll finish this video as we started it with uh, with a bit of a coffee i'll have to have a bit of a sip the thing is this once again like i said in the b21 video there's no winners or loser when you do a review because everything's relative to the individual so i this is what i always think about sort of club reviews they're an indicator of performance and an opinion but the idea is your swing is yours your you know and, and i mean how you deliver it how fast you swing it so we all know that but what i found the last couple of days in between the two is this the highlighting uh, the differences for what this is for a utility iron those ball speeds are really really impressive from the club head speed uh, so much so i'm a little bit surprised to be honest with you the carry distance was uh, as i'd expected the one major difference between the two is the ball flight in terms of launch angle considerably different so i think in terms of comparisons i said at the beginning you know you either put for me it's either utility iron in or a hybrid well if i'm being honest now they're almost it's like comparing apples and oranges because they're so different in one major point and that's the launch angle uh, and the ability to launch it and again that cg place back in the hybrid is where all that help and assistance so they're totally different so it's about what do you want and what do you want from your iron i see this iron for me certainly in eight at 18 degrees as a club that i would use off the tee uh, to find a fairway to chase one down there it would run for absolute miles would i fancy playing it in 18 degree long iron into a green and holding it with 2.8 spin probably not no but then i had the 18 i've also got the 24 and if i'm honest with you i'm assuming there's a 21 in the middle i haven't checked but i'm pretty sure there is for me that would be the ideal club because there's probably that ball flight was a little bit lower launch i think it was average 10 it was a very flat ball flight so for me the club I'm looking for personally uh, would have been to get that sort of uh, 21 degrees, seeing what it does in terms of a carry distance and whether or not it bridges from me. I like a three iron in the bag and the issue would be is the three iron and the 21 degree utility iron just too similar in terms of what it does in terms of numbers. But that's a personal thing. The thing I would say about the club was performed really well, ball speeds were incredible, that bit of tungsten weight impacts a bit of a punch. Uh, on the field perspective I mentioned early on for me it's slightly lacking it's definitely not pure forge in that sense so drops a little bit in terms of that performance really good it is aimed at without doubt the better player I think it's going to be it's not obviously it's not expected to sell the numbers that the hybrid did but it's a damn good club to have in the bag and uh, the answer the question I asked myself at the beginning was do I think I could gain this club in terms of my ability? Uh, and I think the answer would be yes, I do think I'd do it in terms of ability. The question is, where does it fit in the bag? And that would be the thing that I would be personally looking at, where I want to use it. And have you got the luxury, I think almost, of being able to carry a utility iron in the bag? Anyway, it's been a long old day. I hope you enjoyed the video as ever. Uh, hit that subscribe button hit the like button comment down below would you use would you buy here's a question if you're still hanging around by now i should have asked this earlier on the video would you buy a utility iron or a hybrid which one comment below hybrid or utility iron you can just put ut iron if you want time for a timeout i don't mean one of them i mean one of these it's a biscuit i don't know if these are available in america but Either way, see you later.